I think this might be Rocket Girl. Rocket Girl? Rocket Girl, is this you? Come here. Can you do it? Can you do it? Show me a Rocket Girl. I don't think it's Rocket Girl. But it's somebody using Rocket Girl's access. I'm working on take two of this big thing that I made too big. And two chipmunks were just fighting. And a hawk came down. And I got him out. Now, I don't I think this is that girl. This is Yurt. I'll just call her Yurt since she lives in the Yurt. We got this guy with a nut hanging out of his mouth. Hey buddy. Come to show me what you got. Alright. So you're Yurt. Well, you know what? I'm gonna feed her just because if she's up, she might still need she might not have a big enough stash yet, and that would I didn't cater to her, so yeah, that's her alright. That's Yurt. All right, Yurdy. Yurdy Gertie. You sound like an old lady with the name Yurdy. How about you? Is this Pips? I was wondering where you were. I'm seeing so little of Pippi. I don't know why. Things are a little better here. Not going to be four feet tall. It felt like five feet, but it was four feet. But instead just two feet tall. I measured the casters. They were about three inches. I did 22 inches here. So it's going to be about two feet tall. But the cool thing is, is in addition to being able to get in there, get up in there, I'm gonna make shelves like in each corner. Curve is getting super impatient. Look at S Curve, yahoo, coming by. Did not expect to see S Curve today. Never expect to see S Curve. That's pretty amazing. All right, this is RJ. We always expect to see RJ. He lives right nearby. And then this is our last chipmunk. It's Yurdy. It's great aunt Yurdy. And she lives in the yurt, which is my theory. She goes down there, but she also comes under here and under there. My theory is she has just a really nice underground warm thing going on there. And that's why she, oh, look at you. I'm sitting here talking about you right here. Now this one has never like taken from my hand or anything like that. She's just the last chipmunk in, in, in existence here. The last one, oops. <laughs> she's not in torpor yet and that's that's her claim to fame so she gets all the nuts now because she's the only one left sole survivor there you go i mean the other ones are hopefully alive they're just not up and around there's rover oh god we had a horrible i had a horrible scare today with roves she she was coming around the house. I was coming after her. I was yelling her name. And then a hawk went flying really low. I couldn't tell if he had anyone. I was so afraid that he had her and that I had distracted her by calling her name. She won't take any of these. Okay. I gave, I, I, I had a hickory nut for her earlier. Do you want that? Is that good? Now we're talking, she says. Enough of those hazelnuts. This is what I want. Here's the hazelnut she dropped. There's one, one here. She dropped this one. There was a third one somewhere. I kept trying to shove them in her mouth. It was like they weren't going anywhere. Oh, there's the other one. So I guess I'll pick these up and um, give them to the chipmunk who does want this stuff. I'll give them to the chipmunk here. Little, look at you cleaning up after everybody else, huh? Here's Rover again. I got another one. Another hickory nut. Oh, not good enough. Uh-oh. She's coming after me now. Woo! Any of those? Excellent. Pleasing Rover is a big thing. It's a, there's this chipmunk again. I mean, if I can make Rover happy, I got something right today. The purpose of this video, I'm going to show that these nuts were already on this headstone, which I pulled from somewhere else. It was on top of a hide that was near the home where the gray squirrel lived. I'm hoping that those were, that any of those were her nutshells, her hickory nutshells. And that 
maybe she got buried underneath her own good times. Wait, for a minute I thought this was, is this, come up my leg. Okay, now I sound like some perverted rock star. No, for real, like, come here. Okay, I thought it was, um, it's, it's not, I thought it was, okay, so it's, it's nobody I know, it's, it's probably just Yurdy, great aunt Yurdy, because doesn't jump or come up my leg I don't even know how to video this, I do not even know how to video this, all of a sudden there are birds everywhere, and hawks flying through, tons of hawks flying through, just birds upon birds, blue jays, Blue jays are in the fallen tree. These little things are everywhere. And I don't think it's good. A certain amount of birds are good, but all these birds are attract attracting hawks. This one just ran like crazy to get here when I came up. So she was scared of something. There's somebody crying over here. This is crazy. We have a fight. There's two chippies. So this is, I think, great aunt Yurdy. And then I think Rocket Girl just came out. They were like tumbling and fighting. Great Aunt Yurdy, did you get in trouble for being in Rocket Girl's place? That's what I think. Yeah, this has got to be Great Aunt Yurdy because this is her place. So you're over here. Here's RJ. He's everywhere. He's everywhere he wants to be. But that means this, this one came out of Torpor to fight the girl and say, hey, get off my space. Uh-oh, here we go. Let's see if it starts another one. And of course, I've got I've got these screws up here. They knocked over They knocked over the screws. Wow. They were fighting. <laughs> Sometimes it's hard to get video cuz I'm in the thick of building. Now is this rocket girl? I've been giving this squirrel, here's RJ. I've been giving this chipmunk nuts, but I don't know if it's RJ or rocket girl. She's not jumping. Oh, she jumped but hung. This isn't rocket girl. I don't think. I did feel teeth just now, I will say, whoever it was. There you go, little teeth. Little teeth girl. So yeah, I don't think it was. If it was Rocket Girl, she's way out of her. She doesn't have her normal mojo. Okay, this is little Rocket Girl. She's in torpor, but she's coming out just to get some nuts. You gonna come up? We're doing this one thing where we're really conserving energy. Here's what we're doing. <laughs> I think I see brown feet. Brown feet gets around. I have seen you. Look at those feet. Look at those feet. I've seen him all around the house and it's confirmed. I saw today he is a male. <laughs> Mr. Brownfeet was just getting chased. I told him it's a rough world, but he's got me. And then I felt bad because I thought, I don't think he has two pack anymore. I don't think either of us do. Jeez, and just as I said that, that same squirrel. And you know who's doing that to him is the squirrel that, look at, now this one did it to him. Is this Rover? Who is this? I was going to say, I thought the other one was the one who recovered from squirrel pox. Yeah, I think the other one's the one who recovered from squirrel pox. This one might be Jesse James. Yeah, because he wants another one. I'm having a harder time recognizing Jesse James these days. He's got a new look. All right, his winter look or whatever. I don't know who that is right now, but here's Jesse. And... That might be the one that had the squirrel pox that just keeps chasing Mr. Brownfeet. And there's Mr. Brownfeet. And I told him, don't worry, he's got me. Him and Gizmo and Yang, they're all small right now and it's they're without a mother. And good mothers protect their kids. They don't screw them over, you know. So I'm gonna take the place of two pack who would have done right by him. Well, I'm talking like she's dead. Maybe she's alive. I hope she's alive. White Tip came back and I told her I'm making a thing. It, now, what these are, I decided there's gonna be, I'm gonna put a loft up in here so that the squirrels can run under it, jump up into, and I could put one in each corner 
like a loft that they can sit on, right? This is um, ear guy. Hey, ear guy. It's his other ear that makes him ear guy. There he goes. And here's White Tip, who I'm still so happy to see, but White Tip, I think we might be losing Tupac. She, I don't know that White Tip really knew Tupac, because Tupac lives in the back. There's Rocket Girl. The car alarm just went off, so we have a ground alert because they recognized that the alarm was coming from the ground. This is RJ, he's vociferous. I think it's RJ. Either that one or that one. Look at White Tip. She's just like, yeah, whatever. All these guys don't know what a car alarm is. Here you go, White Tip. And if I'm not mistaken, yep, this one's Rover. So it's funny, Rover and White Tip are unaffected by the car alarm and the guys are out back freaking out. Okay, Rover, I think I got hickory nut. What I don't know is, are you gonna like it? I don't know. What about that one? Any good? Nope. Okay, you want a hazelnut? I guess a bad hazelnut is better than a bad hickory nut. And here's white tip as I make my way back to the project. What do you think? RJ, or Rover, Rover, Rover. Hey, that's white tip, leave her alone. The car alarm just went off again. This is Pippi. Got Rover right there. Great, now we have a dog outside. Everyone's alerting and Pippi's just like, doty do. -dope. Rover store right here. Here's Rover. I'm sitting here coming up with ways to hold this together good and she just says, yeah, I'm coming. Down here is Yang. You can tell because she's still got the pox mark on her head. This is Mr. Brownfeet and he's on the cabin that I last saw Tupac go in, either that or it's Gizmo. Actually, it might be Gizmo, I can tell by the ears. So here's the hard part. If she's still alive, I of course want to leave her in there. If she's deceased, I don't want them to lose where they live because there's a corpse in it. I have an alert right now I have to deal with. Wow. It's a ground alert, you can tell by the sounds. Wow. <laughs> I'll go check out the alert.